Okay, good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with Times from Dr. News. And oh, wow, is there a lot? Um, yeah, news from in and around the universe that may or may not be incredibly exciting to the point your heart will just be still and go, oh, that feels good. Um, but yeah, and there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on, of course, today because of the BBC Worldwide, you know, display, you know, the showcase or whatnot. And we found out a lot of cool, cool, nifty things. All right, let's first go into the top secret photos that are not supposed to exist. So let's start there. Okay. There's Jody at one point in the showcase, of course, with the new TARDIS. Um, now, this is also the point where if you watch the small little bit of video that's gotten out, and I'll show you the link to get to it over on Girly Letters, she's telling everybody to put your phones down. This is all supposed to be top secret. Now, the thing is, is one thing that was confirmed is the fact that, yes, it is apparently confirmed now that Doctor Who will not be back until October. All right, so that's one nifty thing. All right, let's go through the photos really quick. Bam, it's at this one. Of course, there's Jody wearing a completely different outfit. And, of course, right there, there's the thing that says delivers October of 2018. And so, and for what was said, yeah, it's pretty much going to be October. Check out the chips. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, Look at that coat. Okay, um, there it is. Bam, bam, bam. Delivers October. There's Jody. And him having a good old time. All right, and this is another shot of her with that or the new TARDIS, or one of the new TARDIS. Of course, here's the new logo. And oops, sorry, that's from something else. <laughs> okay, so just to give you a little idea of what's going on, don't worry, I'm going to be pointing you to some places where you can get all this if you pet Paul possible. All right. For one, I, um, I'm going to be putting up all the photos on the Dr. Freedom Facebook page. So if you can't find them anywhere else or I can't find a link to them at this moment, then I will pass that to you in the description box as usual. But let's get onto it. Let's get into it. Let's fly away to that magical place called Dr. Who Land. Okay. Okay, so over here on Dr. News, here's the new logo. Wham, 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 of course. And... Of course, my friend Beef had to make note of the fact that if you turn this on its side, it's the symbol for female. Oh, come on. That's like saying you're going to see top secret Illuminati info in this thing. All right, so, and this is a really good shot of it. I've also seen a widescreen display of it. Okay, the 13th Doctor, Jody Whittaker, teased the new series of Doctor Who by unveiling a new logo and insignia for the brand to over 700 of the world's top TV buyers and international press at the BBC Worldwide's annual showcase event in Liverpool. Now, in being an evening, sorry, an evening devoted to the new incarnation of Doctor Who, Whittaker built excitement and, and in anticipation of the new era of the Doctor, leaving global broadcasters in no doubt as to the sense of wonder, joy, and mystery the forthcoming series promises audience. So the Doctor Who logo is an iconic and powerful trademark for the franchise that is recognized all over the world. Now, the updated logo and insignia mark a new era of, of Who. BBC Worldwide commissioned creative agency Little Hawk to create the brand new designs, working closely with showrunner Chris Chibnall and, of course, executive producer Matt Stevens. The BBC Worldwide executive creative director, Rafael Perez, I quote, the Doctor Who logo and insignia are the quintessential signifier for the brand, our aim was to create modern and elegant designs that were anchored in the things that we love most about Doctor Who. And of course, is being touted as the new hero logo. All right, now, sound for the animated logo is created, of course, by Matthew Herbert. It will launch with a 10-second animation which features the TARDIS blazing a trail through the logo and all the official Doctor Who merchandise featuring the new logo will be available at selected retailers from the 20th of February onward. So as of today. Now, if you want to watch the animated logo, it's right here. I'm not going to press play because then guess what happens? The copyright ninjas ensue. So I'm, you know, so if you want to go watch it for yourself, bam, 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 here it is over in Dr. News. Let's take a jump. All right. Now, here's this video right here. Let's see if we can get it to work destined to become best friends with. So, as you know, with all your phones out, everything to do with this show is a secret. So if you could put your phone... And then she tells them at this point to put their phones down, and they all like sheep do. Okay, so let's go to the Instagram photos rather quickly. Uh, here's just a, uh, one there from the event. 
and I'll be leaving links to all these as well for you so you can go look them up. Now, one person did notice that the new TARDIS prop has the opening windows like the original Metropolitan Police box did, um, all the way back with the first one. So it kind of gonna be kind of weird, you know. Maybe maybe they need a breeze, you know, in the TARDIS bathroom. But okay. Jody with some fan here, Jody with another fan here. So nice stuff going on at that. Now let's jump over to some filming that took place apparently yesterday. And apparently, of course, it appears to have been an early morning or night shoot, I mean. So just a quick run through these. These are over thanks to this lady here. I've shared them onto the Dr. Freedom Facebook page. Don't worry, you can't really see much detail, nothing spoilery. There's no enemy or anything like that on set. So you don't got to worry about being spoiled on that front. But some really exciting news today, you know, given the fact everybody's been chomping at the bit for a new logo. We've already had a couple of egg-headed morons put out fake ones going, it's been leaked and people bought it and I don't know why. But it's just kind of weird to me, a recent poll I saw online, what would you rather have, the air date or the logo? And a lot of people were voting for the logo and I'm like, you can get the logo anytime. I want to know what time this sucker is going to hit the air. All right. All right, moving onward. Seven Doctor and Ace are coming to Titan Comics. It's going to be a three-part mini, like a mini series um, featuring the Seventh Doctor and, of course, Ace, who is played by Sophie Aldred, and, of course, today's Seventh Doctor is played by Sylvester McCoy. This will be released in June 2018 with a double size first issue. Doctor Who, the Seventh Doctor point, do, sorry, Doctor Who, the Seventh Doctor number one is written by Seventh Doctor script editor Andrew Cartmel and writer Baron, sorry, Ben Aronovich, who wrote Seventh Doctor stories, Remembrance of the Daleks, and Battlefield. So, this is going to be kind of nice to see. And they go a little bit into it here. Gives you a little thing. Look at these covers, man. Oh, that is just cool. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ho. So, nice to see, you know, they're going to get a little three-part miniseries of their own. So, the debut issue comes with four variant covers to collect. So, nifty, nifty stuff. All right, also, the Seventh Doctor will also materialize in the backup strip written by Twelfth Doctor scribe Richard Dinnick with art by Jessica Martin, who, by the way, was in Greatest Show of the Galaxy. And also, apparently, in Voyage of the Damned. Or voice, you know, she did a voice for Voyage of the Damned. So, kind of nice to see they're getting a little bit of kind of weird reunion there. All right, so, moving on. Okay, of course, we found out over the weekend, and I've already announced this, yeah, Murray Gold confirmed at Gallifrey 1 that, yes, he is leaving Doctor Who. Uh, I believe this is also Jamie Matheson has said he will not be writing for Doctor Who Series 11. As we know, Mark Gaddis is not as well. And so we don't know exactly who's all writing for Series 11, but we're already getting a detailed list of who isn't, such as Sarah Dollard will not be writing for Doctor Who Series 11. So. Uh, so the mystery continues on that front. We're just going to have to sit down and wait till we get more details on who the writers are. Cause I don't think there's a story going around that Chibnall's writing it himself. And I don't think they're going to make that mistake again after class where he had Patrick Ness writing all the episodes and it just went. <whistles> all right. Doctor who leaves a 1 million pound black hole in Cardiff. That's right. The doctor experience closed in September, leaving Cardiff council out of pocket to the tune of 1.147 million pounds. The visitor attraction was open in July, 2012 in partnership with BBC worldwide. The Cardiff council subsidized the enterprise with a loan to BBC worldwide, which was agreed to be repaid over five years from a share of the ticket sales. But when the BBC worldwide left the site, an amount of 1.147 million pounds was left outstanding on the loan because the attraction quote unquote, didn't meet financial targets. Now, why? So, kind of weird shit going on there financially. So, we're gonna. If you want to read a bit more into this, here it is for you. And I'm, I want to thank the person who passed it to me. I'm sorry I don't have that information on hand, but they know who they are, and I thank them very much. Okay, what if the eighth doctor was the war doctor? This is a question I've been asking myself for the last going on five years. But the thing is, that time is come and gone. But this is just kind of a nice what if piece. You know, what if it had happened? And this is over on Doctor Who TV. So just give it a quick read, keep an open mind, and remember, it asks that big question: What if? All right. 
50 years of the Brigadier. Of course, this past Saturday marked the 50th anniversary of the Web of Fear Part 3, which was the first appearance of, well, he was then Colonel Lethbridge Stewart. And later on, we got to know him as Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart, who would, of course, you know, be a reigning, you know, figure during the Pertwee era, or a mainstay of that era, uh, as being in charge of unit. And this is a really, really lovely piece right here, talking about Nick Courtney and his contributions to Doctor Who and whatnot. Um, so please go on over and give that a read. That's a nice little thing they did over on Doctor News. Okay, now once again, Doctor Who, the, you know, let's scroll down. The Lost Dimension Book 1 is out today. This, is, this was from yesterday. So this is out today. So if you're looking for this, also what I, the reason I wanted to put this up, if you want to scroll down here, they've left you some pages to get a feel for how it opens. And I thought it's really like, there's Nardy and there's Bill. So be sure to go check this out over on Blogger. And lastly today, for no damn reason whatsoever, here's a picture of Karen Gillan at the Baptist. Okay, so new logo out. I just bumped the mic, so you probably heard a <laughs> Okay, so new logo out. That's one thing I don't like about this one. It, yeah, all right. It doesn't really do too well on the shock absorber thing. I'm saying I kind of wish one of these days I get a shock mount, but uh okay. So by the way, that's right. Back <laughs> back off the microphone. Um yeah, new logo out. Uh seems Jody was a big hit at the BBC Worldwide Showcase in Liverpool. We got a whole bunch of photos and a whole lot of nifty stuff that got smuggled out, of course, as you can tell. And it's just really nice to see that Doctor Who is still being so well received, despite uh, there was uh, that minority of people out there who were screaming, "The show's over! It's dead!" So great news and all that. Plus, we had some filming over the weekend that somebody obviously snatched, and of course, we got a few photos out of that. Well, folks, I'm going to get on out of here. So take care, ta ta. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, Hopefully we'll be getting some more stuff as you know the time continues. I'd really like to see a writer list and have a more precise air date than October because is it going to be beginning of October, middle of October, end of October? Hopefully towards the beginning. I was really hoping the one article the other day from um, that you know that announced that uh, double negative was taken over that said that um, they they said something about September in it. I was kind of hoping they had decided to move up the date, but apparently not. So until we get more details on air date and all that, we're just going to have to go along with what we have. Enjoy the new logo, folks. Take care. See you on the flip side. Yeah, that's right. Don't adjust your televisions. I am bald. Good night.